I'm Julie Marvetz, and I'm the founder of the Furball Farm. My name is Kathy Shaleen. Kathy is a co-director with me, and our mission is to take in healthy animals that have behavioral issues, and we take them in from animal control, humane societies, rescues, and clinics. For two years, we were the last resort. If no rescue claims Tigger, Furball Farm will take. And so that's how we actually started getting up into high numbers. I had to take a break from the rescue list in December of last year because of our numbers. So now what we're doing is we're working with rescues in the state of Minnesota. Last Hope, Kitten's Cradle, St. Francis of Assisi, Forever Home Rescue. So what happens is they're gonna call me up and say, I've got three cats, they're not socialized, they hate people, and we'll swap. So I'll say, all right, I've got this one, that one, and this one. So that's kind of how all that started. I didn't realize how big that we would get in that garage. We put our sights on the big building and we're hoping to start next week. I was doing the math, it looks like we've raised $62,500. To complete it, we probably need another 50 more. People have been great donors. Yeah, that's how, strictly how we run is by donations. People donate food, litter, toys, money. We have angels that just step up and, and miraculously donate what we need for the cats. We are constantly in need of canned food. Clumping litter yep. is always at the top. I would um, say money for vet bills and sanctuary. We are always in need of volunteers. We have it staffed where anyone can come in for a volunteer seven days a week, 24 hours a day. We have people that come on the overnight shift and will spend time with the cats and do chores and just play with the cats. We would ideally like to have two to three volunteers at a minimum every day. We probably have a dozen volunteers that are regular, and regular means they come once a week or minimally once a month. We give community service hours, National Honor Society hours, volunteer hours, a great opportunity to help. When a cat is rehabilitated, what we do is we have an application. So generally, we'll put them on Facebook. That's been our go-to for social media. Our mission isn't to take in knowingly adoptable cats. So I'll ask them, what are you looking for? And then we'll give them the options. We want a good home for these cats. Our adoptions are usually 50 to 100 bucks. And we always tell them, if it doesn't work out, we will give you your money back. Give us the cat back. We saved the cat for a reason. 